we do start with the proposed solution for the crisis at the border. Send the military to the border, a proposal the incoming Trump administration has brought up several times. Because we just finished a mass illegal immigration crisis on the border. If we don't do it, what is the option? Let them stay? Because you let them stay, you'll never fix the border. But what would that look like and what role would those troops serve? We sent the I-Team's Jordan Elder to get some answers and tonight she joins us with a closer look. This concept of sending troops to the border isn't a new one. In fact, almost every president in recent history has done it. But those troops weren't enforcing immigration law or arresting migrants. Instead, it was more administrative. President Biden, for example, when he sent troops, it was data entry, warehouse support, anything to free up Border Patrol agents so that they could go enforce. The Pentagon says it was the same for President Trump in 2018. They were doing aviation, engineering. For President Obama, again, a lot of surveillance and intelligence in 2010 when there was unrest on the Mexican side of the border. For former President Bush, it was surveillance, intelligence, but the National Guard was also installing fences and building roads out in the border areas. Again, with former President Clinton in 1994, it was a lot of infrastructure. But with the incoming Trump administration, could we potentially see these traditional responsibilities change? Experts say yes. It would be a revolutionary change to how the U.S. Uh, national security system works. Dr. Katsuo Nishikawa Chavez at Trinity University says there are long-standing laws like the Posse Comitatus Act that limit what the military can do on U.S. soil. It really depends on how the argument is constructed by uh, the Trump administration and the willingness of the Supreme Court to hear it. And he says changes to that could have big impacts. It's a slippery slope. The ease with which it can be used in other situations starts to happen. Trump has already signaled he'll begin mass deportations on day one of his term, but there are still unanswered questions. He hasn't given a lot of specifics on how he plans to get the military involved in that and when. Their enforcement power would still need to be established. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder. And we want to know what you think our viewer poll is. Do you support President-elect Donald Trump's plan to send troops to the border? Just scan the code on your screen and you can cast your vote. Well, tonight new numbers were released on the rec uh, recorded breaking amount of immigrants who have come into the U.S. in the last four years. The New York Times looked at the numbers and found the recent immigration surge has now been the largest in U.S. history with 8 million people arriving since President Joe Biden took office. The previous record for the last 1800s when millions of Europeans came to the U.S. The new finding found that more than half of today's entered illegally. Most Americans are sympathetic, kind-hearted people who feel like the Biden administration was criminally negligent in protecting us by having a broken border. Democrats on Capitol Hill are worried about what Trump's mass deportation program will mean for those without criminal histories and for the U.S. economy as a whole.